Welcome to the SimWorks Studio's Dynamic Deck Editor tutorial. After watching this video, you will have a good understanding of the tool, allowing you to use the many advanced features available on the SimWorks Studio's carriers. The Dynamic Deck Editor is currently included with the SimWorks Studio's Nimitz carriers and will be part of every future SimWorks Studio's naval product. It will allow you to place static aircraft and crew anywhere on the flight or hangar deck, set the ship's flight ops state, control its lights, approach lighting system and nav aids. Let's get it on. To spawn our carrier, we will use the SimWorks Studios Fleet Placer which comes bundled with all SimWorks Studios naval products. This can be brought up by going to the add-ons menu and clicking on SimWorks Studios Fleet. Alternatively, hit Control. Shift and S. Select the formation menu by clicking option 1. Let's select the SimWorks Studios Vinson and then select option 3 Distance. By selecting my position this spawns the carrier directly below us. We then select the last option to go back. Now we click on place formation and this will place the carrier right below our aircraft. To bring up the dynamic deck editor, go to add-ons, SimWorks Studios carriers, deck config or hit control and D. The dynamic deck editor will pop up. The dynamic deck editor is split into four main areas. The carrier list, which is populated with ships that are spawned and within tack and range of our aircraft. The deck states, which can be used to load or save static aircraft configurations. The squadron or yellow gear list on the right which allows you to select squadrons, yellow gear or crew for placement and the deck map which allows you to place objects on the carrier and perform certain actions. If you wish to move the deck editor aside to look at something it can be dragged around the screen by left clicking and dragging outside of these areas. Finally to close the deck editor click on the red X button or hit Control and D again. Let's start by clearing the deck in order to create a deck state of our very own. Click on the clear deck button to remove all objects from our decks. We'll begin by placing a C2 Greyhound. In the squadron list select the last squadron which is always the COD squadron. To place the aircraft on deck double click anywhere on that deck. We now have a Greyhound on the carrier but we may have to move it somewhere where it is not conflicting with traffic. To move it, left click on it and drag it somewhere else. Now, let's rotate the Greyhound to look inwards. To rotate an object, left click on it and hold. Then, using the mouse wheel, rotate it until it points in the desired direction. To remove an aircraft, simply dump it overboard. Let's try that again, but placing the Greyhound in the hangar. Click the flight deck button which is located under deck states and you will be swapped to the hangar deck. To place and remove objects in the hangar the same controls apply. Now let's place some crew on deck just to make our carrier feel that bit more alive. To select crew and yellow gear click on the crew icon at the bottom of the squadron and yellow gear list. The squadrons will disappear and yellow gear will take their place. While in yellow gear mode these items will be outlined for your facilitation as they are smaller than aircraft and hard to see. Placement follows the exact same process as it did with aircraft. We will now place the Tilly Crane, some cars and crew around the deck. We will now save our state as one of the presets so we can use it in the future, say for video creation or for screenshot usage. To do that, click Save New in the deck state area and type a name. If you change your mind however and want to delete a state, you can do so by clicking the red X button next to it and confirm by selecting Delete. You might also have noticed that when placing objects you can pan and zoom around the deck map. 
to pan the map, left click on any aircraft free area and drag with your mouse. To zoom in or out, simply use your mouse wheel. By using the dynamic deck editor this way, you'll be able to create any deck state you want for your flights or practice your aircraft handling skills. Let's just see if you can stack all those aircraft into the carrier spaces in a way that they can be retrieved. Another function of the dynamic deck editor is control of animations. This can be done by clicking show animations at the bottom left corner of the deck map. Animated parts will be outlined and you can control them by clicking the outlines. Animations can have multiple states such as up, down, open, closed and automatic. By clicking you will sequentially shift through these states. Automatic states are controlled by the ship based on the prevalent conditions. Like with aircraft placement, animations can also exist in the hangar deck. To hide the animation triggers, click on show animations again and they will be hidden. The menu option at the bottom right corner allows you access to various operational parameters of the ship. Options controls functions regarding the LSO operation and stabilization modes of the various landing aids. The mode option allows you to switch between launch and recovery modes. When set to auto, the carrier will be in recovery mode when your aircraft is airborne. Shooters will be despawned and the optical landing system will be active. NavAids contains the frequencies for the carriers TACAN, ANSPN 41 ICLS and ANSPN 42 Precision Automatic Landing System. These can be used with CEX integrated aircraft such as the Simwork Studios Phantom or Dino Cataneo's TA4J. The frequencies of the nav aids can be changed in the sim by hovering your mouse over them and scrolling the mouse wheel. The approach option allows you to select which landing aid you will be using during approach. The if lols is selected by default, but there are three Movlas stations available which can be selected through this menu. The Movlas is a backup system in case of an if lols failure, which is portable and can be installed in multiple locations upon the chip. The lights option allows you to control the carrier's lighting system. All systems here are set to auto by default, which means the AI will manage them based on operational requirements and the time of day. You can of course override this by clicking the various light options. The next option has to do with the AI helicopter. Launch Heli will spawn a plane guard helicopter at the first available helipad. The helicopter will start its engine, take off, fly out to helicopter marshal, and then form up near the carrier in plane guard duty. After the helicopter leaves, the land heli option will become available, which will make it come back, land, and shut down. The last option, of course, is the warp function. By selecting warp and double clicking on the flight or hangar deck, your aircraft will be warped to that spot. The Simwork Studios carriers come with a lot of features to be discovered and are constantly enriched with new features. From air wings and many cool animations to pitching deck and tow trucks that you can drive to park your aircraft, Simwork Studios carriers bring P3D carrier ops to a new level. You can find more in-depth manuals and more information about our products at our website www.simworksstudios.com Thank you for watching.